Hey everybody and welcome to a new video on e-sampling art. In today's video we're going to be looking at this specially curated box of Kuretake Zig watercolors. It's a build your own palette box from Art Snacks and they also sent along with it this very large reflective Art Snacks sticker and a custom Art Snacks washi tape. Uh, so we're going to look and see what's going on in here and go from there. Okay. So included in this box uh, is a medium tipped watercolor brush, which is great. And also a Kuretake Zig Mangaka flexible uh, black fine liner. Uh, so that'll be good. Everything you need to kind of get started on your project. So this is a build your own palette box. Uh, every now and then Art Snacks does this where you can build your own palette. You basically pick from the colors they have available and like it says, you're making your own palette. So this time they had the Kuretake Zig Gonzai Tombai watercolors. They're Japanese watercolors uh, that are apparently supposed to be really blendable, have a nice consistency and really bright intense color. So the colors I chose were maroon, cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, imperial violet, cobalt blue, and silver. After swatching these out and seeing what I really have to work with, let's see what we're going to make today, shall we? So I decided to do a celestial inspired piece with a moon and a sun. I'm a big fan of moon and stars and all those celestial kind of uh, objects and imagery. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. I used the Art Snacks washi tape to go around the edges so my edges will be nice and clean. Almost too clean as you'll see near the end. Then I start blocking out the color. I did the purple around the edges. I just started thinking of kind of like a galaxy sort of color palette coming into it a little bit. Uh, so I, that's why I started with the purple on the outside and then just tried to blend it in with the blue as it came in toward the center. I'm really just kind of making this piece up as I go along. I make edits to it and changes to it that I didn't initially plan to do. Within kind of like the middle section of working on it, I kind of hated it. And then by the end of it, when I finished it, probably literally when I start taking the washi tape off and seeing the beautiful crisp edge that it created at the very end, that's when I actually started liking the piece. Um, no, I take that back. Actually, when I was doing the black outlining near the end, you'll see that, that that's kind of when I started liking it. This whole piece I had like a general idea of what I wanted to do, like obviously using the yellow for the moon and the orange and yellow blended for the sun, but I just kind of made it up really as I went along. Uh, I ended up using the silver kind of as an overlay over the moon to give it a little bit of shimmer, which uh, I try to show you later. It, it's hard to see kind of on the screen, but you can see it. You know when you kind of shift the page around uh, but the silver is really nice. Um, I'll have to test the silver on some darker paper to see how well it shows up um, but yeah it really was just kind of like a I don't know I'm just gonna do this and see how it looks uh, especially like when it came down to putting the little dots and everything over the moon and sun that was really just kind of like I don't know I kind of like the texture of it so I kept going I wanted uh, some stars I started doing it with the yellow over the side where the moon is but then um, I don't think I showed it on camera but I actually changed the backgrounds a bit and made the side with the moon darker and the side with the sun uh, more blue and lighter so um, it kind of covered up the stars they originally had next to the moon. So I wanted some really bright stars anyway. So I went in with a Posca paint pen and kind of added the stars next to the moon and added some of the little dots on the top part of the moon too. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm still getting used to doing uh, watercolors. Um, I think I add too much water to the paper. I, it just feels like it dries out so quickly. I don't know. Uh, this particular paper I was using is a uh, Fluid 100 watercolor paper. It is actually a hot press finish, so it has a very, very smooth finish as opposed to the cold press paper, which usually has a little bit of a texture. Let me know down in the comments below um, about your experiences with watercolor. I'm still learning how to use it. I see beautiful things that people do with it all the time, and I do enjoy uh, using it when I do. Uh, but I, I do have a lot to learn. So in an effort to use all the materials for my box, uh, I wanted to use the black fine liner to outline the moon and the sun areas. Uh, I wasn't sure about it when I started it, but then I just kept going and by the end of it I actually kind of liked how it turned out. I think it made it kind of pop out a little bit. I didn't completely outline the, I don't know what you call them, the rays, the sun rays and squiggles that came out of the sides. I just kind of gave little, little hints of the outline, not complete outlines uh, to those areas. So of course now is the moment of truth when you peel off the washi tape to see if one, if your paint bled underneath where the tape was uh, laying down or um, you know, if it comes up clean. Most of the pieces came off without a hitch and that was fine. I just got to the bottom piece to try to take it off and was going right along and then yeah, that happened. So here is the final product. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I love the colors. The color palette's really great. Um, I will leave a link down below to Art Snacks where you can purchase any of the products that I used in this video. I believe they are all still available. If you want to subscribe to my channel, feel free to hit that red subscribe button down here. And if you want to be alerted of when new videos are coming out on my channel, feel free to hit that notification bell as well. If you want to follow more of my artistic journey, you can always do that on Instagram or Twitter at eStampleyArt. And as always, I'd love to thank you guys for tuning into my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.